Welcome to another video from ultimateged.com. This is part four of our GED science course. Please, it's important you watch the entire playlist of four videos. We cover all the major topics you need to pass the GED science. Don't forget to check out ultimateged.com for more. Let's dive in. Mechanics, fluid dynamics, and properties of gas. Mike releases a ball from rest at the top of a ramp. The ball rolls down the ramp due to gravity and its kinetic energy increases as it accelerates. By the time the ball reaches the bottom of the ramp, it has gained five joules of kinetic energy. The relationship between gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy for an object moving solely under the influence of gravity is potential energy lost equals kinetic energy gained. Question 41. If the ball started from a height h meters and its weight is 10 newtons, how high is the ramp? A. 0 0.25 meters. B. 0 0.5 meters. C. 1.0 meters. D. 2.0 meters. The correct answer is B. 0 0.5 meters. For questions in this section, all the formulas will be given to you but you'll have to understand the relationship of the information in order to solve. The potential energy due to gravity is given by the formula weight times height. So to find the height, we need to know the weight and the potential energy. The weight has been given to us as 10 newtons. The potential energy has not been given to us. However, the kinetic energy gained has been given to us as 5 joules. We know that the potential energy lost is the same as the kinetic energy gained. So the potential energy will also be 5 joules. We have 5 equals 10 times h. We can now solve for h. Divide both sides by 10. The 10 will cancel out. 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5. So the height is 0 0.5 meters. Question 42. A container holds a fixed amount of an ideal gas. If the pressure of the gas in the container is doubled while keeping the volume and number of moles constant, what happens to the temperature of the gas? The ideal gas law is PV equals nRT, where P is pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, R is the gas constant, and T is temperature. A. It remains the same. B. It is halved. C. It doubles. D. It quadruples. The correct answer is C. It doubles. Please do not overthink on GED calculation questions or questions like this. They are usually designed to test your ability to recognize patterns and relationships and accurately interpret and use formulas. For this question, all we have to keep in mind is that it is an equation. To keep it equal, Whatever you do to one side must be done to the other side. We are told that the pressure is doubled, so we can multiply pressure by 2. To balance the equation we have to multiply something on the right side by 2. We are told that the volume and number of moles are constant, so we cannot do anything to it. R is also a constant. It is the gas constant. To balance it we can only multiply the temperature by 2. This means that the temperature doubles. Lesson 13. Waves, Electricity, and Magnetism. Question 43. A sound wave has a frequency of 500 hertz and a wavelength of 0 0.68 meters. What is the speed of sound in meters per second? A. 340 meters per second. B. 500 meters per second. C. 680 meters per second. D. 850 meters per second. The correct answer is A. 340 meters per second. The speed of sound in air can be calculated using the formula V equals F time lambda, where V is the speed, F is the frequency, and lambda is the wavelength. This formula, as always, will be given to you on the test. Your work is just applying it. We have been given the frequency as 500 and the wavelength as 0 
Plugging in the values, we get V equals 500 times 0 0.68. This will give us 340 meters per second. Question 4 to 4. A circuit with a resistance of 10 ohms is connected to a 12 volt power source. What is the current flowing through the circuit? A. 0 0.12 amperes. B. 1.2 amperes. C. 12 amperes. D. 120 amperes. The correct answer is B. 1.2 amperes. This is another formula work. We will be using Ohm's law, V equals IR, where V is voltage, I is current, and R is resistance. This formula will be given to you. We have been given the voltage as 12. We've also been given the resistance as 10. Our work is to solve for I, divide both sides by the 10. The 10 will cancel out. 12 divided by 10 is 1.2. Therefore, the current flowing through the circuit is 1.2 amperes. Lesson 14. Earth and Space Science. In the desert of the American Southwest, a stunning geological feature draws scientists and tourists alike. This feature, known as the Red Rock Canyon, showcases layers of sedimentary rock, predominantly sandstone, that have been sculpted by wind and water over millions of years. The striking red color of the rock is due to the presence of iron oxide, or rust, which has stained the sandstone over time. Geologists are particularly interested in the canyon's rock formations, which provide a window into Earth's geological history. Fossilized remains of ancient plants and animals have been discovered within these layers, offering clues about the region's past environments. The canyon's unique topography also reveals the powerful forces of erosion, which have shaped the landscape into its current form. Question 45. What causes the red color of the rocks in Red Rock Canyon? A. High quartz content. B. Presence of iron oxide. C. Erosion by water. D. Volcanic activity. The correct answer is B. The presence of iron oxide. From the passage, we know that the striking red color of the rock is due to the presence of iron oxide, or rust, which has stained the sandstone over time. Question 46. Which type of rock is formed by the cooling and solidifying of magma or lava? A. Sedimentary. B. Igneous. C. Metamorphic. D. Limestone. The correct answer is B. Igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed from the solidification and cooling of magma or lava. Common examples are granite and basalt. It's important you know the other types of rocks. Sedimentary rocks, these are formed from the accumulation or deposition of mineral and organic particles, often in water bodies like rivers, lakes, and oceans. An example is sandstone and shale. Metamorphic rocks, these rocks are formed from the transformation of existing rock types in a process known as metamorphism, which means change in form. Examples include slate, formed from shale, and marble, formed from limestone. Limestone, this is actually a specific type of rock, typically a sedimentary rock, rather than a category of rock. Limestone is primarily composed of the mineral calcite, calcium carbonate, and forms largely in aquatic environments from the accumulation of shells, coral, algae, and other organic materials. Question 47. Which of the following planets is known as the red planet due to its reddish appearance? A. Venus. B. Mercury. C. Mars. D. Jupiter. The correct answer is C. Mars. Mars is commonly referred to as the red planet because of its distinct reddish hue. This coloration is due to the presence of iron oxide, or rust, on its surface. It's important you know some basic information about planets, like what planet has a ring? What planets are closet to Earth? Lesson 15. Environmental Science and Sustainability 
Question 48. What is the primary cause of the current trend in global warming and climate change? A. Decrease in volcanic activity. B. Increase in solar radiation. C. Decrease in ocean currents. D. Increase in greenhouse gas emissions. The correct answer is D. Increase in greenhouse gas emissions. These gases, which include carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere, leading to a warming effect known as the greenhouse effect. Question 49. Which of the following is a consequence of climate change that affects coastal communities? A. Increased soil fertility. B. Decreased hurricane activity. C. Rising sea levels. D. Decreased rainfall in desert. The correct answer is C. Rising sea levels. As global temperatures rise, polar ice caps and glaciers melt, contributing to higher sea levels. Additionally, the warming of the ocean leads to thermal expansion of water, further elevating sea levels. This results in increased coastal erosion, flooding, and can even lead to the displacement of communities. It also threatens important ecosystems such as mangroves and coral reefs. Question 50. Sustainable development primarily aims to a. Maximize short-term economic growth b. Use resources to meet human needs while preserving the environment for future generations c. Focus solely on conservation of natural resources d. Promote industrialization at any cost The correct answer is b. Use resources to meet human needs while preserving the environment for future generations. The goal is to use resources in a way that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Get more. Watch the GED Science Playlist, GED Math Playlist, and get the full GED Math course.